If you're new here, welcome in. I'm Kimberly. I'm 66 years old and I'm on a mission to stay healthy and happy through my 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond. If you'd like to join me on that journey, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you'd like all the tips and tricks that I've been implementing into my life to stay healthy and deliriously happy, go ahead and sign up for my email newsletter. The link is listed down below. It's easy. It's it's fun. It's totally free. I think you're going to love it. I have so many fun things to talk to you about today. You know when you're thinking about your friends and you think, oh, I got to tell them this and this and this. That's what it's been like all week long. First of all, I am talking about the new program I'm doing for my neck. That's what I'm going to be focusing on this year. In addition to that, I'm introducing some new fitness videos I have here on the channel. And make sure you stay to the end because I have some tips and little tricks that I think are really, really good and really, really worth it. You're going to want to hear about those. But first, before we get started with those, I am working with a new company today and I'm kind of really excited about it. I'm a little bit obsessed. The company is Honey Love. You might have heard of Honey Love. But before I get started on that, I want to say one thing to you guys. You are the nicest, kindest group of ladies. I'm not kidding you. I actually showed up on the internet, not just in public, on the internet with boo that look like that. <laughs> I know, and not a single one of you made a comment about it. I looked at that after I filmed it and I thought, oh my gosh, I can't even believe they look that bad. I call those belly button boobs because they're just about hanging down to my belly button. Not a single one of you commented on it. I know you were thinking it. How can you look at those and not think that? And what really gets me when I look at that video is I recognize it when a woman has a good bra because a good bra really makes a huge difference. We've all seen it. A woman walks into the room, you think, wow. <laughs> She's got a good bra. Well, clearly in that picture, I don't have a good bra, but I have an excuse, don't we all? This is a story that explains the whole thing. At least, you know, this is my excuse. A few years back, gosh, it's probably been five or six years now, I sold everything I own, packed up a carry-on suitcase and a backpack, and I left the country for two years of full-time travel. Now, when you do that, you have to be extremely careful about what you pack because you only have a small amount of storage, you know, luggage to take with you. One of the things that I did not include on that journey was a real bra. I had had decades of wearing uncomfortable underwire bras that were like torture chambers. And I am larger chested, and so it was an issue for me. And at that point, I had just had it. I wasn't gonna do the bra thing anymore. So all I packed for two years were sports bras, like wannabe a bra. They weren't even real sports bras, probably. And that's all I wore for two years. I was going to very casual places. I went to Tulum. I went to Ecuador. I just went to places that you don't need to have any fancy stuff for. So it was really okay. What happened is that I got home and after two years of not wearing a real bra, I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I mean, my patience for an uncomfortable bra had just evaporated. I just wasn't going to do it. And long story short, or long Long story long, I never really got a good bra. I tried a couple of bras. I tried a couple of things. They were horribly uncomfortable. They didn't do the job. And I gave up until I saw that video and I just thought, oh my gosh, you got to fix this, Kimberly. In the interim, before I saw that video, I had been in conversation, just a little conversation with Honey Love. And I'm not sure if I contacted them because I was curious about them or they contacted me. I can't even remember because it was so long ago when we first started. Now, Honey Love does bras, sleepwear, panties. They have a full line. What I'm talking about today are the bras because, oh my gosh, getting ahead of myself. So I contacted Honey Love after I did that video and I said, you know what? Can I try a couple of your bras? I might want to talk about them on my channel. Let me see how they work and fit first. I always do that with companies, particularly when it's something that's important because if it doesn't work out, I just tell them it didn't work out. And I actually tell companies, a lot that it's not going to work.
work out and I can't really move forward with them. Here's what happened. They said, great, we'll send you whatever you want. So I went on the website and I picked a couple of things. I picked some bras and some panties and they sent them to me and I put them aside. I was really busy and then it came to the weekend and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull those bras out and give them a try. I wasn't hopeful, but I just was wishful thinking that they were going to work. Here's what happened. I put those bras on and I'm telling you what, it was like the angels were singing. It was an amazing experience because I had been essentially braless for so long and these bras were so comfortable. And I mean, I can hardly tell the difference between the bra I'm wearing right now and my sports bras. That's how comfortable they are and no underwire. Now I'm large chested. You guys know that. You've seen that. Keeping my girls up above my belly button is a task, particularly without a wire. These bras don't have wires. I am so in love. And what happened after I tried them on for that weekend is I went right to the website and I ordered some more stuff because I was like all over it. I had finally found something that really, really felt comfortable and really, really gave me good support. Look at I don't have belly button boobs today. I have actually nice boobs. And I think that this is the kind of bra that you walk into the room and people go, in the back of their mind, she's got a good bra on. <laughs> I am so thrilled and pleased with Honey Love. The bras are so well made, and I'm actually going to show my bras here on the internet, but you know, it's just us girls. They are so well made and so beautiful. Now, I wear a large size, so it's tough for me to find a bra that's going to keep everything up and be super comfortable. These bras are so comfortable. I've got two different styles. This is one and then the other one is right here. This one is so pretty. It's just really so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure of the names of each of these bras, but you can find them over on the Honey Love site. I do have a discount code. So if you've struggled with a good bra and you're just tired of uncomfortable bras, I promise you this is the most comfortable full support bra I've ever had in my life. Because when I was younger, I was wearing those underwire bras and those are just torture. They're torture then, but gosh, as you get older, they're horrible torture. I just couldn't take it anymore. These bras are so very comfortable. I ended up contacting the company, talked to a lovely gal there, Jerry. I said, I am obsessed with your products. <laughs> so that's why I'm working with Honey Love today. And of course, this portion of the video is sponsored by Honey Love. If you are looking for a bra, if you have bras that you don't absolutely love, check these out. They are lovely. They're well-priced. They're beautifully made. And I'm telling you, they are so comfortable. I am wearing my Honey Love all the time because they just feel so doggone good and they're very pretty. I have tried the panties as well. They have a nice beautiful selection of panties. They're nice because they actually cover all my stuff. You know, my, my booty has gotten big along with my bust line. It's kind of a match set. That's just the way it goes. And the panties are nice because they keep everything all tucked in. They have some tummy support selections. Really, really beautiful quality, quality products. So Honey Honey love, I want to thank you so much for making good bras that are comfortable for women with larger breasts who are older and were just sick and tired of uncomfortable bras. These are wonderful. I'm thrilled with them and I can't wait actually to go shopping on the website and get more. There is a discount code listed in the description box down below. Take a look at it. I think you're going to be really, really pleased. And I'll tell you what, I no longer have belly button boobs. bad news. <laughs> apparently sitting is the new smoking. I know, I know, which is so tragic for me to hear because honestly, I think I probably have a black belt in sitting. I can sit better than almost anybody I know for long periods of time, but I realize I can't really do that anymore because it's not good for me. I think when I was younger, and maybe this is the same with you, we just didn't sit that much. There was stuff to do, but now I sit in front of my computer. I sit when I read. I sit when I crochet. I sit when I'm just hanging around the house at night, I do a lot of sitting. And what they're really finding out is that sedentary behavior, you know, it's not really the sitting you could be laying down. <laughs> it's just not that great for you. And I do realize that now that I'm a little bit older, I'm sitting a lot more 
than I used to. We can do something about it. And what is that something? Move more. I know it's so hard to think about, but that's really what we need to do is just move more. And I've done some research on this, you know, really doing a deep dive into movement. How do we raise our metabolism? How do we keep our blood flowing? How do we keep our energy up so that we want to work out, so that we want to move, so that we want to feel good and go out and do stuff. And keeping moving during the day really is critical to keeping your metabolism going, keeping your energy level up, and also your mood. I know for me, and maybe it's the same for you, when I've been sitting a long time, I can tend to kind of sink a little bit because I'm just not moving around. I'm not getting exposed to different environments and new things. I'm just sitting in the same place, maybe reading, which is good, but I'm not moving my body. So what's the answer? The answer is to move more. And here's what I've been doing. And maybe you want to do this yourself along with me. I am setting a timer on my phone so that every hour it goes off, ding, 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 and I get up and I move for five minutes. Maybe I walk around the house. Maybe I do a little dance. Maybe I just walk in place. Maybe I do some jumping jacks, something to keep myself moving. What you'll find if you join me in this is that you'll be surprised at how much better you feel. Just that movement every hour, even for five minutes. It's not that much, but gosh, it just makes a difference. So here's a challenge I have for you if you'd like to participate. Do that yourself. Set your timer on your phone, whether you're at work or whether you're at home. You know, if you're at work, just go somewhere quiet where you can walk really quick in place, maybe do a little toe touches or whatever. Just move your body for five minutes. Do that every hour for a couple of days, and I think you're going to be messaging me saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe the difference. One of the real healthful impacts it's going to have, it's really going to help raise your metabolism. Now, what's our metabolism? Our metabolism is the rate at which we burn calories. So keeping our metabolism high, particularly as we grow older, is crucial to not putting on excess body fat. I have excess body fat right now because I was overeating, even though I eat very, very clean, and I wasn't moving enough. When I first moved in here and I was so busy decorating, putting furniture together, shoveling stuff in the yard, landscaping, the whole thing, I ended up losing 10 pounds. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I wasn't working out, you know, like working out. But what I was doing is I was moving a lot. And by golly, as soon as I stopped the moving, guess what? 10 pounds came back on and boom, it was really, really noticeable to me because I had experienced that easy 10 pound weight loss just from being more active. One of the things that I have done and I will continue to do if you guys want is I have created two five minute workout videos that you can do along with me. The first one is just a fun little movement video where we move through a lot of different little exercises. We have some fun together and it's over in five minutes. That's one that you can check out. The other one is so much fun. They're both fun, but this one is so much fun. It's just five minutes of dancing. Five minutes of dancing. You can come along with me. The music is fun. You can follow my moves. You can do your own moves, whatever works for you. I will continue to do more five minute videos if you guys want and you can turn those on whether you're at work or at home and just kind of dance along with me or move along with me. It really does make a difference and I think you're really going to love it. I will continue to do those if they're popular so that we can work out together. I know that it's so much fun to connect with someone else who's doing what it is you want to do. Maybe you don't have someone in your office that wants to do this or at home that wants to do this so you can just pop on those videos, dance along with me or move along with me. I think that they're going to be a really fun thing for you to join me with and I hope you do come on over and join me. So those will be listed in the description box down below. They're fun, easy workouts. It's just getting you up from a sitting position or a laying down position. I don't know, maybe you're laying down and reading. I would fall asleep if I did that. But go ahead and join me for a couple of those. Do this for three or four days. Every hour, move around for five minutes. I think you're gonna be super surprised how much better you feel. One of my projects, personal projects for 2023, is to really focus on my neck. <laughs> 
I have been on a skincare routine for three years now and I think the skin on my face looks pretty doggone good for someone who's 66 and hadn't taken care of their skin their whole life. I do feel like I've come a long way with the skin on my face. My neck looks a lot better than it did, like a lot better. And if you go back and look at some of my older videos, just go over to the channel, scroll all the way down and click on one of those first few videos, you'll see a big difference in my neck. It's a lot firmer, a lot tighter. It just looks a lot better than it did. That being said, it looked horrible back then. It doesn't look great now, but it looks better. What I noticed, and maybe you've had this experience as well, that I will go along fairly stable for a while and then all of a sudden I'll wake up and it'll look like I've aged 10 years. That's what I feel like has happened with my neck recently. It was looking really good, I was fairly pleased, then all of a sudden I was looking in the mirror, maybe it was a different mirror or something, and it just didn't look that good. I started thinking about what I was doing with my neck as far as a skincare routine and realized that my neck was really like the neglected stepchild or something. What I would do is I would put my serums in my hand, put them all over my face, and then what was left would go on my neck and that was starting to show. In other words, the real focus had been on the skin on my face, not on my neck. As a result, I have made some changes into my routine that I think are going to have a good impact on my neck. We can watch over the coming months and see what happens, and maybe you would like to join me and we can see what happens together. The first thing that I am doing is I'm no longer treating my neck as a second-class citizen. In other words, whatever I'm using on my face, my neck gets a full dose of that. So I'm putting a full dose of whatever the serum or lotion or whatever into my hand and putting it on my neck. And I am focusing along the sides of my neck that are really showing a lot of aging. I have these necklaces lines. I have creepiness, crepiness. It's just not nearly as smooth as the skin on my face. So first step is it's getting a full dose of whatever it is that I'm putting on my skin as far as serums, potions, lotions, that sort of thing. The next thing I'm doing is I am microneedling my neck once a month. Editing Kimberly here. Over the next few minutes, you're going to hear me say microneedler or microneedling 8,557 times. And I mean derma rolling. I don't know what happened to my brain <laughs> this day. What we're talking about here is derma rolling and what I'm holding is a derma roller. So every time I say microneedling or microneedler, just substitute <laughs> derma roller. Thank you. Now back to the show. Now here's the thing. I have talked about microneedling on my channel before and I've actually done some demonstrations. I think microneedling does amazing things for skin. However, I have not been able to stick with it. It is just not one of my favorite things to do. It just doesn't feel that good or that fun for me and I would always do it for maybe a session or two, like a month or two, and then it would just fall away. I'm going to implement it monthly on my neck for 2023 and I think it's going to have a really, really good impact on my skin, particularly the crepiness and the looseness of my skin and it will probably soften up those necklace lines. Now, if you haven't done microneedling, here's what happens with microneedling. And this is a microneedler. <laughs> What this is, it's a little roller with needles on it. And you rub this roller over your skin and those needles penetrate the skin, which does what the body does. The same thing with your skin and your muscles. When you micro damage it, your body runs in there and your body repairs it better than it was. In this instance, my body is going to add more collagen and elastin to that area I had micro needled and it's going 
going to make that skin look smoother and fresher and the lines are going to be a lot softened. I'm going to go ahead and do a micro needling session with you guys today and show you how I do it. Again, I'm going to be doing it once a month. That's all, once a month. I don't really think you need more than that because that gives your body time to go in, produce that collagen and elastin to heal that micro damage and make your skin look a lot fresher. So what I use for micro needling is I've got my roller here and the rollers that I use are from Gen Amber. You can get rollers off of Amazon. I just prefer them from Gen Amber because I know she has a passion for micro needling and her rollers are really, really good quality. They're a little bit more expensive than the ones you find on Amazon, but I do think that they're worth it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rubbing alcohol and I'm going to clean this roller. I'm going to put some rubbing alcohol in this little ramekin right here and then I'm going to dunk that roller in there and make sure I roll it around so the alcohol gets over all the surface of that roller. I'm going to leave it in there while I prepare my skin. Now I'm going to take that same rubbing alcohol and a little cotton pad. If you don't have these, they are so stinking handy. You can throw them in the washer and dryer and reuse them over and over again. I love mine. I've had them for like three years now. So I'm going to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on that cotton pad and what I'm going to do is I'm going to really clean that area even though I have just washed my face and my neck really well. I'm going to clean that area with the alcohol to make sure that I've got a very very clean surface. Now I'm going to come up a little bit on my chin as well. So I'm going to make sure that I clean that area. Okay, so I've got that all clean. Oh, I did a good job washing my face. <laughs> Now I'm going to take some hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. And you know it's hyaluronic acid because I put an H on here. I'm in the bathroom without my glasses on. That's how I keep all my bottles identifiable for myself. I'm going to take a little bit of hyaluronic acid. This is hyaluronic acid and B5 from The Ordinary. I'm going to put that on my hand and I'm going to rub that over my neck. And I think I'm going to do two dropperfuls. And the reason I am putting this on my neck is twofold. The first is to give a lubrication to my neck and the second is that hyaluronic acid will get needled into my skin along with the B5 so it really does help the plumping process and the nutrients of the B5 are actually going to get into my skin. So now I'm going to take my micro needler right here and I'm just going to start rubbing it up and down on my neck. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't really hurt. It's just a little pokey. It's not the kind of hurt that, you know, is a big Big owie. It's just a little pokey. So I'm just going to continue to move that micro needling around my neck and on the bottom area of my chin and I'm going to keep going over the same area vertical once, horizontal the next so that I get a nice coverage of that needling all over that area. Just back and forth. It doesn't really matter what pattern you do. You just want to make sure that you get it nice and covered. And the way that you're going to know you're pretty much there as far as being done is you're going to have a nice pink glow all over that skin. And you can see my skin is starting to get pink. And because I'm always extra, I do a little bit more. You don't have to press down. You can just very, very gently rub it over your skin. And the needles do all the work. And I get it in my gel area a little extra right here and right here. And one final pass up and down there. And you can see the pink glow all over my neck. And what did that take? Maybe, I don't know, five minutes or something. It really doesn't take that long. So then I take this and I put it right back in that alcohol. And I'm going to let it sit in that alcohol for a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the container. This one is a 0.5 millimeter. Jen Amber has all kinds of different sizes on her website. And it actually tells you what issue is the appropriate size. Now another thing that I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can do this if you want, is that area on my arm that has the really loose 
and crepey skin, you know, right near my armpit, kind of right here. I'm going to microneedle that once a month as well. I am pretty sure that I'm going to have good results with that. I did a video on this a while ago. I did it for a couple of months and boom, I just dropped it again. It hasn't been easy for me to stick with the microneedling thing. I'm not sure why, but I am committed to doing this because I am working on getting my arms nice and firm and toned for the summer and I don't want that wobbly bit there or at least I would like to have it improved. So you definitely can take that micro needling into this arm area and go ahead and treat that skin. I think you'll see firmer, tighter skin in that area as well. I am adding another step to my neck routine. One of the most powerful ingredients that I have used in my skincare routine is copper peptides. I used the copper peptides from Neod, which is a sister company to The Ordinary, couldn't believe how incredibly plump my skin looked after using it for about a month. I really love the copper peptides from Neod. It's very expensive, like almost $100. It's a lot. So I am trying copper peptides from Biosance. This is a great company. This is their Squalane Plus Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. I've been using a full dropper on my neck at night along with the Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. This is something that I have added to my routine specifically to address my neck. I think it's going to improve the skin on my neck. I don't have results yet because I just started a few weeks ago. I'm going to keep you guys posted on how this works for me. I know a lot of you love Biosance and talk about it a lot. So if it ends up being good, I'll try to get them to do a boss event with us and give us a nice discount. What's a boss event? It's a big old super sale event that I'm doing once a month in 2023. So these two I just now added. And of course, my silver bullet with my neck is my Invisicrate Body Balm from City Beauty. This I tried, gosh, probably two and a half years ago, and I thought this is not going to work. I'm going to put it on my neck. I'm going to do it for a month. And you know what? Wow, it really does make a difference. Here's what I did a few weeks back over the Christmas holidays. I started thinking, I wonder if this really is making a big difference in my skin. So I stopped using it for a week on my neck. Oh my gosh, the skin on my neck got so crepey and crinkly. It was just a mess. So I'm back on the City Beauty Invisicrate Body Balm. This is great for my neck. So that's the details of my neck routine for 2023. Maybe you want to come along with me. I have a bunch of little tips I want to share with you guys and these are not connected at all. They're just little things that I would notice throughout the days or the weeks and think, oh, I should share that. <laughs> So these are random tips, but they're all really, really good. The first one is about the Nira. If you have the Nira, you might want to try this because this is something I'm doing with the Nira. Of course, I use the Nira for my deep lines on my face. It's really, really effective at that. What it does is it sends a little laser beam into your skin, creating a little micro damage, and then your body goes in and repairs that damage, creating more more collagen and elastin. That's why my marionette lines and nasal labial folds are not as deep as they were because that's really where I focus it. I focus it on the lines right on the outside of my eyes, my nasal labial folds and my marionette lines. And it really has softened them up over like the two and a half probably close to three years that I've been using it. Here's something I'm doing on my face now. I just started it, so I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I think it's going to work. At the very least, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm really giving it a whirl. On my cheeks, there are a couple of areas where I have broken blood vessels. They're not big, they're small, but I don't want them to get any bigger. I've been using my Nira on those broken blood vessels because I think it might improve them. 
At the very least, they're just going to improve the skin in that area. At the best, I think it's going to reduce the appearance of those broken blood vessels. Why do I think this? Because I know that in the dermatologist's office, they do have lasers that they use over broken blood vessels to eliminate them. I'm giving it a whirl. If you want to join me and give it a whirl as well, let me know what results you're getting. I'll keep you guys posted. I just started doing this. I've been noticing these little blood vessels for a little while and thinking about, you know, maybe I should go get them treated or something. And I thought, wait a minute, I've got a laser. I might as well just see if I can do something myself. So that's the first tip. Using the Nera on those broken blood vessels. Again, I don't know if it's going to work, but it's certainly not going to hurt. Even if that area just has better skin, that's fine with me. Maybe it will work. We'll keep each other posted on that. The next thing I want to talk with you about, and this is kind of a long story, stick with me, it's kind of interesting, is a company that I found and I kind of found them by accident. I use a product called Pure Sleep. This is my sleepy time drink. I have a long history of using sleepy time drinks. I started with Calm and then I met this nutritionist in Montana and she turned me on to another one that I can't even remember the name of now. It was better than Calm. And then I heard about this Pure Sleep, which is formulated by a gentleman by the name of Cliff High. Cliff High is kind of an unusual character, super smart computer programmer. What happened is that he was diagnosed with colon cancer. I believe he had surgery and had the cancer removed and then they wanted to treat him with, I don't know, chemotherapy and radiation. I don't know what the whole story was. And don't, if I'm misquoting or if I'm misremembering, I apologize. I'm just sort of pulling it from memory. Anyway, after the surgery, he fired his doctors and he got busy learning everything Thing he could about healing yourself after cancer. He had been active all his life, was a very, very accomplished martial artist, and his body after the cancer, he was down to like 130 pounds or something. He was just barely hanging on. And because he's a super smart guy, he started doing research and really put together a program that was going to heal his body, which he did. I saw recently, gosh, well, maybe it's not recent, it was about a year ago, him do a workout on those bars or those rings that gymnasts use, you know, where they do the cross and that sort of thing. He's in his 70s and he was working out on those. It was amazing the amount of muscle and the good health that he's been able to generate all on his own. As part of his healing process, he researched and found that our bodies really only heal at night when we're sleeping. That's why getting good sleep is so so important. And now that I'm weight training and really breaking down my muscles in order for them to grow back bigger, I am making sure that I'm getting eight to nine hours of sleep every day because I know even though my brain is sleeping, my body is busy healing and repairing those muscles. That's why you get so doggone tired when you start an exercise weight training program is because your body is working overtime. Anyway, so... <laughs> He came up with this formula called Pure Sleep. It is hands down not even close to being the best sleepy time drink that I have ever found. I have it every single night and I mix it up in a half water, half coconut milk mixture. I warm that up and I put my Pure Sleep in. This is the secret hidden bonus of Pure Sleep. It absolutely helps you sleep. It helps me sleep. It is really, really good. But there is a little added perk that they don't advertise, but I know it's true. And I heard Cliff talking about it and it's definitely true for me. When I wake up in the morning, when I've had my pure sleep the night before, I am awake and I am online and I am hitting the ground. No cobwebs, no slowness in waking up or getting movement. There is something in this and Cliff has talked about it, I don't remember what it is, that I wake up feeling amazing, like energetic, clear-headed, ready to roll. So pure sleep became a very, very important part of my life. And as a matter of fact, I have 
like six of the refill packages up in my cupboard because I'm afraid the supply chain's gonna break down and they're gonna run out or something. So the first one comes in this little plastic tub and then it comes in these little refill packets so you're not continually wasting these little plastic tubs. Pure Sleep is sold by a company called Pure Bulk. Now what's Pure Bulk? This is kind of the tip that I wanna tell you guys about. This is an interesting company and this will be of special interest to the those of you who really know your supplements and I know you guys are out there because you leave comments and you show me that you are so well educated on this topic much more than I did and you teach me so much here's the cool thing about pure bulk that makes it different than other supplement companies a lot of supplement companies or most of them will package up something in a bottle that treats a particular issue. Maybe it's creaky joints, maybe it's a B complex. It's something that is issue driven. What Pure Bulk does is they sell supplements in bulk. In other words, they're not formulated. They are the separate ingredients that you might be looking for in order to create your own concoction. It's a unique place in the market, and if you don't know about one of these companies, I can tell you this is a pretty doggone good one. I actually contacted them. I had been using the Pure Sleep, and I contacted them, and I said, tell me what you guys are doing. Like, what, what's this all about? And they explained, it that they just sell the raw ingredients or the bulk ingredients for people who want to put together their own formulations or they just want one particular ingredient. They don't want to buy it in a capsule that has a lot of other stuff in it. So I talked with them. I did get a discount code. This part is not sponsored at all. I just think it's an interesting company. So they sent me a few things. Um, the first one is this hydrolyzed collagens type 1 and 3. And of course, collagen can be really, really beneficial for your skin, bone health, that sort of thing. So they sell hydrolyzed collagen in a bulk packet. This one is d -manos. And if you are really familiar with supplements, you're going to know how cool it is that you can get these just on their own. Of course, there's a vitamin C ascorbyl palmitate. This is a vitamin C ester. So if you're looking for just a particular type of vitamin C, you can get it from Pure Bulk. And the last one is maca root. I'm going to say something that's going to make you guys giggle. Maca root, I talked about that in my smoothie, and I had another package of maca root before this came in that I'm using up. Maca root really can help with menopausal symptoms, with issues that women have. In addition, it really seems to impact your libido. So if you get this maca root, your husband might be really, really happy if you know what I'm saying. They definitely have maca root in bulk. The last one they sent me is biotin, which is vitamin B7. This, of course, is one of the B vitamins. It is a cool company if you're looking for something specific and unique and it's all on its own. You might want to check it out. There is a discount code, like I said, down below. I think it's a great resource if you're looking for specific nutrients or supplements that you want to get into your diet. The last thing I want to talk with you guys about is the water thing. I talked about it, that it was really hard for me to drink enough water. They say you need to drink, you know, half your body weight in ounces when you're really working out and getting fit and wanting to lose fat and that sort of thing. I was struggling. What I've learned is you need a plan. And my plan has ended up being this wonderful glass water pitcher. I talked about it in a video a couple of weeks ago, but I hadn't gotten the pitcher yet. I said I had just ordered it. Well, it has come in and I'll tell you what, I really love it. It has been so very handy. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on the video, but it has all the ounces listed on here. So what I do every morning, I just fill it up to the line of the ounces that I want to drink for that day, I take off the top and then I take my analema. A lot of you have asked me about this. This structures the water and all I'll do is unscrew my analema, put it in here and I swirl it around for 30 seconds. What does that do? That gets that water back into its healthy structure. I buy bottled spring water. I don't use tap water for anything other than cleaning my dishes and taking showers 
showers. I use spring water for cooking and for drinking. So I'll just swirl this around in my spring water and what it's going to do is it's going to restructure that water into a healthful form. Water gets all messed up when it gets carted around and bottled in this and that and it's not in a form that is as easily absorbable for your body. So I structure all my water with this. I'll have this listed down below and I'll list the website as well if you want to find out more about it. I know several of you commented on the video when I talked about structuring my water. I did do a video on that a while ago. I can't even remember where it is or what vlog it was in, but you can read about structuring water on the Analima website. I structure all the water I drink now and when I'm traveling, I throw this in my purse and I take it with me so if I get to a restaurant, I know they have filled up my water glass with tap water and so I go ahead and structure it just to make it as healthful as possible. With this pitcher, I know that some of you asked me about it and I am really trying to keep plastic out of my kitchen. I'm trying to just keep glass containers for my water and for my leftovers. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. I had ordered it and I'll tell you what, I really, really do like it. It's very handy. And the other cool thing is that I can use it when company comes over as well. So if I wanted to put some beautiful lemonade in here or put some mint leaves and some other wonderful things to make a special water, I can do it and it would look really, really pretty in here. So all in all, great purchase. I'm glad I've got it. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly, and I'm on a mission to stay healthy and happy through my 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, and I hope you'll join me. See you in my next video. Bye now.